your Better Kansas City break with Lisa Holbrook. You can have fun and save money when you do it yourself. No one does it better than FYI design guy Jeremy Rabe. We turned our kitchen over to him for a do-it-yourself pet bed. Now, who doesn't love our furry four-legged friends? I am a bona fide crazy pet person. And what better way to go green than to turn an old suitcase into a pet bed. Who would have thought, right? Go to your flea market or just basically go to grandma's attic and find an old suitcase and let's turn this into a, a chic, elegant bed for your fur babies. Here's what you gotta do. First thing, find the suitcase. We're going to add curtain rod finials to the bottom for legs. I got these in a two pack for $2.93. How inexpensive is that? And look, you just screw them on the bottom just like this. Spray paint them your favorite coordinating color. Absolutely add chic and dimension and fun to this suitcase. And again, you just screw them on the bottom with old wood slats you find in the garage. Now, here's the fun part. When you turn it over, look, it's up on the legs. Again, this is for a smaller dog. You don't want to put your Doberman Pinscher or your lab in this. When you open it up, easy, take this lining out, get rid of it. We're going to jazz it up. Now, here is where you can really get creative. You can take your favorite fabric, wallpaper, pictures, and you're going to Mod Podge the top of it, just like this. And here's how easy it is. You can take your Mod Podge, just pour it all right in here. No rhyme or reason with your paintbrush. Look how fun this is. And you can get the kids involved. Who doesn't like to paint with their kids? Now, set it all right, just like this. Nice and easy. Now, here's the trick, though. Because this is a pet bed, you kind of want to make it a little bit waterproof and easy to clean. You're going to Mod Podge again on top of the fabric or the wallpaper or the wrapping paper, right like this. Mod Podge right on top of it and let it dry. Now, if you'll notice, the edges, mm, not, as, not as clean as I like it. So take your favorite just ribbon from the garage or maybe your Christmas ribbon, and you're going to line it just like this all the way around. Now we get to the fun stuff. Let me show you what we've got right over here. This is what it's going to look like. Right here, when it's all dried and ready to go, we've got our fab fabulous dandelion print right here, our orange lining, and now they need something to sleep on. I got this pillow for $2 at one of those big box stores, and then I got a fantastic complimentary uh, pillowcase right like this. Now, what's really in style, too, is mixing your patterns. Look how fun this dandelion print looks with the wavy stripes of this pillowcase. And you tuck it in just nice and tight, just like this. Now, if you want to really make it specific for your favorite animal, Put a picture up right here. Look at this, a dollar picture frame, one dollar. And I spray painted our complimentary orange. Now I have to show you my babies right here. This is my dog Mika and my cat Fergie. Now they love to sleep in these. All you need to do is add your own peel and stick Velcro right to the back. The reason you're gonna do this, if you wanna change out the pictures later on. Now look at this. Put it right up there like that. You can hang as many pictures as you like. I want to show you my dog Mika laying in his own vintage suitcase pet bed. Look how happy he is. Of course, I used a vintage hound's tooth and a blue suitcase. And you can check out more of my do-it-yourself projects on my FY Design Facebook page. There's also a link on KCTV5.com. Just click the Better KC tab.